Hey guys, it's Brie from Precious Stars Pads. So this afternoon I went to watch some of the little ones dance at my dance school because we have a choreography competition coming up at the end of the year and I needed a little one to do a choreography piece I'm planning. And whilst I was doing that I had a look in my dance bag and I found in my kind of hair kit which I switched over from when I last did dancing. For those of you who don't know I took a break from dancing a couple of last year so it would have been the year before so while I was still at school and I found this I think it's an always basics pad. One of you can probably tell me what packaging this comes from. Anyway, I found it in my pa my bag and it reminded me that it's part of my emergency period kit that I have for when I get caught out. And whilst I saw that, I remember there are a couple of stories I had whilst I was at school uh, which were not really embarrassing period stories, I guess you could call them, but they're period stories where my period caught me off guard and I didn't have a pad with me. So I thought it might be quite fun to share them with you guys and see if you guys have any of your own stories that you can share. So I don't use the disposable products anymore so I actually ended up taking this one out of my bag and I would probably give it to a friend of mine or I might keep it in there just in case someone else needs it. But it used to be that I'd always have a period kit wherever I went, whether it was in my dance bag or if it was in my school bag, I always had this emergency period kit and I was very very good with this because I had a whole in fact, I think I had a whole first aid kit, plasters, Nurofen, paracetamol and everything. I didn't even get period pain at this point while I was at school. It was only after I left school because of um, my chronic illness that I started getting really bad period pain. But whilst I was at school, I didn't need it. But I always kept them in there just in case because there would always be other girls in the class who would have painful periods or you get a headache or you have a stomach ache or whatever. So I had everything you could possibly imagine in this little kit and of course I had several pads and tampons and everything in here. So there are only a couple of days in our school year over here when we never took our bags into school and the only two I can think of right now but there might be more are when we had the carol service at Christmas and when we had open day which is our last day of school when it's um oh it's also called prize giving. But anyway, it was the carol service this time, and I went to school, and usually my period always, always, always came in the morning. I'd wake up, and it would be there in my underwear, so I'd know I got my period. But at this point, I had no other symptoms, so I would never be crampy, so I could never tell it was coming on. Um, I was reasonably heavy at this point. I wasn't, I never had a heavy, heavy period, apart from the first period I ever got, which was quite heavy. But um, I certainly didn't have as light a period as I have now. But anyway, I went to school... I think it must have been about mid-morning break. So our school days on the carol service were that we never took our bags into school because we always had the morning lessons, which were just basically messing around, having fun, and doing non-work related stuff really. Then we'd have lunch, and then we'd be taken by our respective coaches to the church where we had our carol service. So in that whole time you did not want your bag because it just, it just got annoying, you had nowhere to put it, and you didn't need your school stuff on that day, so there was no point in taking it. But I completely forgot to put any period pads in my blazer, which I usually had one in. So, yeah, that was the first mistake I made. <laughs> but I think it was mid-morning break when I went to the toilet and I just realised, oh my gosh, I've got my period. And I'm pretty sure I was wearing a panty liner, so I wasn't, my underwear wasn't completely soiled or anything. But I think I had this panty liner on and I realised I'm going to need a pad. But I don't have any pads at all on me. So my first response was, well, what am I going to do? Because I knew the office had pads, but I just did not want to go and ask them, I just couldn't bring myself to ask them and I feel so stupid now for thinking that but you know at the time it, that was the way it was and it's all part of that stigma about periods and stuff but we'll get to that in a bit anyway the first thing I did was I went and asked my friend, I won't name her but we'll call her friend X I went and asked friend X um, in the lunch queue if she had a pad I could borrow it and I asked her very quietly and stuff and she went oh no I'm sorry but just just go to the office because you know I know you don't want to do it, it's not nice, no one wants to do it but you know just go and do it because they will have one so I just, I ate lunch and then I went to the office and the whole time I was walking up to this office I had different planned escape routes so if there was a, a male teacher in there I would make some excuse and leave and come back at a different time if there were a lot of people in there I wouldn't ask them I'd just poke my head in and walk out and wait till it was quiet but anyway, mercifully it was quiet and there was only one of the secretaries there and I actually knew these secretaries really well because by this point it was in 2012, by this point I'd been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and I was coming in late to school because I couldn't manage the whole school day so I would always have to go into the um, office and say hey can you sign me in, they'll be like yeah sure, so they were really sweet these two ladies who I knew in the office but I was still so nervous about them and it just makes no sense to me now because you know it was a total, totally, natural bodily fun uh, totally natural bodily function that they probably have as well <laughs> It still kind of, you know, shocks me to think of it now that I was so afraid to go and ask these women because, you know, they obviously 
if not still have it, they had, period. So it wasn't like it was something weird I was going to ask them. But I just could not bring myself to do it. But once I went in there and I said to her, hey, I think on my period I haven't got any pads. She's like, oh, yeah, it's fine, we've got pads and tampons here, here. You can take a whole selection and stuff because all schools are required to have them. So if you um, can't afford them, especially in the state school systems, if you can't afford them, then they always can provide them to you that they have to do that. Uh, but yeah, I went in there and they gave me some pads and that was it. I literally took two pads, put them in my blaze pocket and walked out. And as I was walking out, I thought, what the heck was I worrying about? Like, I just made a fuss over nothing really. But again, it's all part of that stigma about how periods are shameful and we can't possibly let people know that we have them. And now I would not think twice about if I was still at school. If I walked into that office and said, hey, could I have a pad? I've got my period. Even if there's a male teacher in there, because it's like, they work, we're all, it's an all girls school, so... You know, they're working around girls, they all know that we have periods, so it's hardly secretive, but it just blows my mind now, and of course I wouldn't be worried now because this is my job, talking about periods. But yeah, so that's story number one. The second story I have is more kind of, I wasn't caught out, but I forgot I had my period. So it was day three of my cycle, and we were going to the House of the Parliament. And, you know, we went on this trip, and I remember I had my period, so I'd had, as I said before, it's the third day of my period, and I think I had either one pad on me, or I just had the only pad I had on me was the one I was wearing, I put on that morning when I got into the bathroom and left the school. But anyway, once we got to the House of Parliament, we were all allowed, because it's a kind of reasonably long coach journey, all allowed to go to the toilet, so we all went into the nice, smart new building that they have. Like that's like adjacent to the House of Parliament and you go underground to them, it's, it's kind of a weird system, but yeah. So that's how it works. Anyway, I went into this nice smart building, went to the toilets, it were very, very nice, I remember that, and I got looked down and I thought, oh my god, I have my period, I don't have my school bag on me because they just gave us a like a, a clipboard and a pen, it was again a nuisance to have a bag with you, or I had a bag with me, and I didn't have a pad, but I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember exactly, because it was when I was near 10, and I would be near 13 now if I was still at school or second year of sixth form. But either way, I did not have any kind of period protection on me. And I remember thinking, oh my god, how am I going to get through this entire day? Because my third day of my period, third day of my period, is usually a reasonably heavy one. Not, well, not heavy. It's a, usually a moderate day for me. So not enough for me to be constantly worrying about changing it, but enough for me to need to think about changing it at certain points in the day. So I looked down and I thought, oh my god, I've got my period. And I completely forgot. And I think I might have just remembered when I went into the toilets, but then realised I didn't have any pads and I was too shy to ask anyone if they had one. Or I might have asked one person again and they said no and it just wasn't the kind of thing I could ask people about. So I tried, I kept it hidden and everything and I went into the toilet and, you know, I hadn't bled very much on this pad so I just decided, you know what, I'm going to wipe it off and put it in the toilet and I'll just wear this pad because it's not going to leak, it's got plastic backing, but it's going to be uncomfortable, but you know, I'll, I'll survive, it won't leak through. But mercifully, for the stakes, we went from the House of Parliament straight to the National Art Gallery, I think, and then we went back. But for some reason, and I, you know, I think my body might have just known that today was not a good day to bleed. You know, today was not the best time for Mother Nature to intervene. And, you know, for some reason, that third day of my period, while I was there, I did not bleed at all after that one speck I had in the morning. So, as soon as I got home... <laughs> Like, the heavens opened, but whilst I was on, away, I had no bleeding at all, and it was kind of crazy. And actually, sometimes, before I switched to cloth pads and a menstrual cup, I used to do that quite often. I used to stop on my third day, or at least stop for part of my third day, and then start again on the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. But now I'm very, um, I'm heavy on the first, I'm, what's the word? Uh, I'm very similar in my period patterns. I'm heavy the first day, well, my version of heavy the first day. Then the second day I'm regular, third day regular slight, fourth day light, fifth day spotting. So, yeah, it gradually decreases now. But at the time, it just was crazy, because that's the first time it stopped on my third day. And I remember just the, thinking, thank God, thank you. <laughs> just no period to deal with. Because it's not the funnest thing to deal with when you're on a school trip, and you don't know when the toilet breaks are going to be. Because when you're at school, you can just put your hand up and say, hey miss, I need to go to the toilet, could you let me go? That kind of stuff. But when you're on a school trip, it's a little bit more difficult. So... My tips for when you are going out and about, or if you are new to getting your period and you're still at school, things that will help you out immensely. Number one, if you're like me and we always had to wear a blazer whenever we had any big events, so for both those trips, if I'd had um, some pads stored in my blazer, 
uh, I would have been fine because you know we had an inner pocket in our blazer so you know there's, there's two pockets down on your hips sometimes one pocket up here for your phone and then there's one inside that we always hit, actually that we always hit our phone in but you can always slip a pad into one of those pockets so what a good idea might be to do is to have one or two pads even if one's a panty line and one's a regular tucked into one of your pockets and just keep it in there because you know if you're using a disposable pad that's fine I mean it's slightly different with cloth but I guess you could still keep one in there but yeah, that would definitely be my biggest tip because that's what that's what we always had to do and certainly always have an emergency period kit in your school bag because I think I did need to use that one once, once or twice, you know, I would think um, I've got a period in the morning and I'd actually forget to put period stuff in my bag in the morning so it was always good to have that stuff there but actually once I'd done that one trip to the office it was like, hey, this is not such a big deal, I can do it anytime. But yeah, so those are kind of my tips I guess I would say and that's my story so... They're not really embarrassing period stories because I was I dealt with them fine, but they are kind of lessons to be learned, I think, in terms of dealing with your period that weren't really traumatic for me in any way. I mean, they weren't pleasant at the time, but looking back on them now, I can see it's not actually that big of a deal. Just your period, really. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.